welcome back to another stream and in this one we will be starting to explore Google Analytics. So I have been trying to integrate Google Analytics in my project for a long while now, but I have failed multiple times, but I think I've found the right way to integrate with it now. So what you need to do, if you're using Firebase by the way, is just click this settings icon here on your Firebase console and then you go to project settings and then I'm going to hide all of these things, obviously, but and then you scroll down and then you select config from here and then you copy all of these things into a separate file in your source directory. So you put that into a constant variable, you import Firebase and then you also initialize the analytics. But to be able to import this, you have to install a package from the Firebase libraries. And the package name that you have to install is basically Firebase. So you have to add this as a dev dependency in your package.json, then do not um, npm install, and then you are pretty much ready to go. Um, so the initial uh, entry point in your application is obviously the index.js file. And you have to add Firebase as an import in here, and then you have to initialize Firebase like this. Okay, once you add this, you will be able to see events on your dashboard. Just give it like two days because these things take time to propagate through for some reason. But once you finish the setup, then your dashboard is going to look something like this. By the way, when you first click this dashboard link, you have to do some setup. I can't show you how I did it because I've been trying multiple things and it's probably going to be different for you. Okay, so once you complete the setup, your page is going to look like this and you're going to see where um, your main sources for your visits are, where your visitors are coming from, um, how many visitors you get per day, per minute, I don't know. Um, or And and also you can go to analytics.google.com, I believe. And then from here, you can set more filters. I don't fully know how to use this tool, but this shows you more 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 information, so you can customize your dashboards in here, probably. Okay, so what events are we going to focus on today? Um, so I want to log when a user obviously vis visits my page, um, when they enter a blog post, and yeah, let's add the homepage visit. So I want to track these three events. These three are the most important ones for me right now. And to do that, I'm going to use the Firebase config in here, right? So, um, we are going to use the use effect hook um, and we, we are going to just start with the home page. So, home.jsx in here. Um, so, we are going to use the use effect hook. Okay, so what are we going to do in here? We're going to call the analytics library. Oh, okay, I have to import Firebase Analytics because I've, I've named the variable. I've named this, this thing as Firebase Analytics in my Firebase config file. So in my Firebase analytics, I'm going to say log events. And in here, I'm just going to specify um, what I want to log. So I'll just say home page visited. And I have to import this, obviously. So let's come here and import this thing. So use effects goes there. Okay. Yep, that looks good. All right, we're gonna duplicate this thing across multiple pages now. So in my index.js, um, I, um, I have some notes about what to do next. Um, you've done this one, and now you have to figure out how to do that for the blog page. Um, so the blog page is in here, um, and we already have a use effect function in here, which means I can pretty much add the same thing I'll just do this and I'll just say blog visited. So this event will fire when someone visits my blog and I'm going to add another analytics call for blog posts. So the other one should go in here. If it's not going to redirect to the 404 page, then just do these things. Yeah. Okay. That's, that seems reasonable. Okay, I want to log a Firebase analytics event in here. 
and I'm just going to say instead of homepage visited, I'm going to um, print the name of the blog. So, so what is the blog posts file name that I have in here? It's this one. Okay. So I want the blog post file name and then I'll just say visited and when this event fires I will be able to see which blog posts a user has visited visited on my web page okay that's good and I also want to say I want I also want to add an else statement in here and I want to track if a user um, has failed to enter a blog maybe they typed the address wrong so I just want to say um, through the um, Maybe I'll try this redirect, redirected to 404. Yeah, so I just want to capture what um, inputs the user enters to the address bar so I can see um, what kind of things redirect them to the 404 page, if that makes sense. Anyway, so and also I want to add um, one of those things to the 404 page so let's grab the hook from here well let's grab the simplest one so we had the simplest one in the home page right we're just going to copy this and we're going to paste it into the not found page let's paste this thing in here uh, we have to import this thing obviously so use effects okay and and we're going to have 404 page visited well that seems to be it um, I'm now going to do a deployment and I have a phone in here which I'm going to use to fire some um, analytics events. So I'm going to I'm going to go to my dashboard. So I have the dashboard in here and I'm going to take a look at the real time users in the Google Analytics web page. So I'm going to click real time in here. OK, um, so the deployment is complete now. And I should be able to see the real-time users on Google Analytics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to my website on the phone. Okay, so it's showing one active user right now. And we should be able to see the events that I've triggered down here. So, okay, something is wrong. I'm just seeing a blank uh, black page. So let's try to do an NPM start. Maybe we got the imports wrong somewhere. So we broke production, no Firebase app default has been created, call Firebase app initialize app. Okay, that makes sense. So in our index.js, actually we do call Firebase initialize app. All right, I see. Oh, um, this is being called. So the Firebase config file is being imported before we get the analytics, right? So we have to move this thing inside our Firebase config. So I'm going to remove that from index.js and I'm going to move that to here. Okay. And I guess I can get rid of this now. Okay. That seems to be working fine. And if I go here, well, okay, that's fine. Um, missing dependencies or remove the dependency array. Oh, I have, okay, so there's one more area that we need to fix. We have to include this into in the dependency array. So let's go to the blog posts. And since we're using this in our um, use effect function, we have to include it in here. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to the blog. Yep, we can still be everything. So let's try to create another build. So let's kill the server and do another deployment. Okay, so the deployment is once again complete and I'm going to go to the website again. Okay, now the website is loading fine and I'm gonna to go to my analytics page and let's go to the real-time overview. Let's refresh this page and it should show that I have one active user. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what kind of events did we get from this user? Okay, I'm going to navigate through the website. So we have added a um, we have added an analytics call for for the blog page. So let's go to the blog page. So I'm in the blog page right now, and 
we should see uh, if we, we saw a page view that's that's good um, we see home page visited we have session start but we should also be getting blog visited somewhere I think there's like a slight delay oh yeah there you go once you refresh the page you're gonna see blog visited and now I'm going to I'm going to go to iOS versus and now I'm going to go into the iOS versus Android blog that I have. So I tapped onto the blog. Now it's loading. Okay, you can see it on the screen now. And in just like 30 seconds, we should be able to see this event in here now. So we are going to see the name of the blog and underscore visited in here. Okay, so let's just wait and see. Okay, there you go. Um, this just came in and we have iOS versus Android visited. So by the way, why does this have four event counts? Is the use effect function getting called four times? If if that's the case, that's very bad. Um, so yeah, that's that's something that I can take care of offline. But this allowed us to discover another another problem, another potential problem, right? Anyway, um, so this is how I'm planning to track the users across different pages, and I'm probably going to duplicate this code in other places in the app. Like I want to track if the user has tapped the dark mode toggle at the top of the page, for example. See, so when you tap on this icon, come on, um, the page turns black. Yep. Yeah, I want to track stuff like this. And there's a way for you to track users with ad blocker. So I might just look into that one as well. Um, I'm not collecting user specific information, so I guess I can track those users as well. Um, yeah. So this is how you add analytics to a Firebase project. It's really simple. Um, but you have to do some experimentation on how you can add it. It might be different for your use case. But anyway, I hope you learned something new from the stream. And I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.